there were some freebies that you had um, shared with me, which were linked in the email. Um, but any tips, the best way to get started? Uh, yes. Um, I know you have an awesome fiber box. We do. If you're wanting to get started spinning, you can either do it like I feel like a lot of us do, where you start out with a drop spindle, which is, um, here, there's my hands. <laughs> um, you can Google drop, but like kind of the weight on the top or the bottom with the little hook. That's what I started with. Um, so that is easier in the sense of you can pick up a drop spindle for like 20 bucks and then you can get some fiber and just kind of see how you feel about it. The flip side of that coin is I personally found that it was easier for me to learn to spin. Not learn to spin, but it I found like it was easier on a wheel. Because on a wheel, your feet are doing the spinning, which leaves both of your hands free to do the drafting. Um, I have taught drop spindle. I started out teaching it locally in person um, at different workshops and uh, artist groups and stuff here. So I feel like I've got my teaching people to drop spindle down really well. And so then I made a, uh, a course that was probably, I guess my most popular course is the uh, learn to drop spindle course, which you can get on my website. Either it's just like a standalone online course purchase or um, I've actually lumped all of my like online content into our uh, Patreon or Patreon. Once again, I don't know how to say that right. I think people say Patreon, um, but feel free to correct me. Um, account because I wanted something to benefit our uh, My Local Wool website when we inherited that. Obviously, that site needs, um, that helps. It's like a small farming community to connect fiber artists with small farms. And most farmers are too busy being farmers to want to uh, want to get on and really deal with doing website and online stuff. So we're basically trying to come alongside farmers and mills and fiber artists um, and kind of come alongside them to help get, connect them with people that want to buy what they have. So my hopes with putting all of my online content, um, besides my free YouTube channel, in Patreon was that it lets people, one, get access to those courses for less than what they were selling for, and two, the money goes to paying for our staff and the website, the web hosting, there's an interactive map, you know, so there's a lot of cost that goes along with running that. So the pro that kind of let me have something I already had created that could help fund um, this venture that I thought was worth funding. So you can find my drop spindle course, like I said, either as a standalone purchase or you can, uh, you know, check it out for a month or so, uh, actually for less money on <laughs> Patreon. Um, and then uh, the link I see, yeah, there you go. That is, and of course I'm always needing to revamp it. You can see there's different levels of just like the $3 one's just like, hey, we want to donate to what you're doing. The $10 one is going to have basically all of our spinning information, including that drop spindle course. The $15 one has some added, uh, all of the regular spinning stuff, plus added things on art yarn, mindfulness. Yeah, I mean, we've created between me and the staff so much stuff. On and on. So much stuff. So much <laughs> that, um, yeah, so I, I just... I wanted something that, like I said, would benefit what we were trying to do. And all of our staff uh, with Crafty Housewife Yarns and My Local Wool by Extension are all also stay-at-home moms or caretakers. And so, you know, I mean, we're all people that definitely appreciate being able to share their knowledge and their abilities and crafts while also being able to kind of work around their families or their farms or their sheep <laughs> or whatever it is that they're doing. So it makes me happy to be able to, uh, you know, to keep that going. The link on the bottom is, this is totally free, and there is a spinning, hit hint, there's both uh, spinning and knitting uh, goodies on there, including a free, wall, wall supplies last, because we will eventually run out, a knit kit with uh, three skeins of yarn um, that will be in there, and as well as uh, spinning info. So it's basically, we created like a fun, rabbit hole to fall down for the fiber arts in general for whether or not you are 
a knitter, a spinner, or a knitter who would maybe have questions about being a spinner, um, if you just sign up for this email list and we kind of slow trickle all the goodies out to you because I don't know if I get things all at one time, my mind like short wires and I can't, it's like too much to deal with. So we have gone in. So yeah, you would just sign up right there and then the slow trickle of awesomeness uh, will begin. And like I said, you will get a, a free knit kit free patterns, um, spinning stuff, our drop spindle course I have in some other ways. So yeah, lots of, lots of fun things. We took all kind of our greatest hits and, uh, compiled it all into there. And if you keep scrolling, there's, uh, you'll see the images for, like I said, some, we've just made so much digital content <laughs> over the past, uh, five or six years. So we just kind of, uh, stuck it all in one place. So that's yeah, what that that's is. Really awesome. <laughs> and the other thing I wanted to share was, oops, let me stop sharing that tab and then I will share um, the My Local Wool. It's that website. Yes. And there we go. So this is the My Local Wool website. And I loved that you have a map. Yes, well, this map was really cool. And like I said, this is part of uh, having this map is not particularly cheap <laughs> either. So this is part of what, like I said, that Patreon page goes to pay for is having this map embedded on this website where you can search for the ideas either where you live or if you like traveling and you're like all of us who when you travel you're like I want to know what yarn shops are there um or fiber festivals or whatever you can put in where you might be traveling to and just see what pulls up in the area we of course the biggest complaint is well there's not too much pulled up where I was at so I mean on the flip side if you are a fiber artist an educator a farmer, a mill, a yarn shop. I mean, if you have anything that would fall into, as just somebody, I think we even have like a fiber friend listing that could help point somebody in your area into the right direction, even if it was just like a great local knitting group, like what I found in Washington State, we would love to add you to our map. And that helps keep our site going as well as, like I said, that's the whole point is to help people be able to find what they're looking for. And we also, because the farmers were requesting it when we redid this website, um, the we have a featured raw wool sale. We also have the uh, fiber market index where you, if you're like, I want to try some Cordell and then you can put in, you know, search for Cordell and then you can see the, um, you know, who in your area might have that. So this is featuring just raw wool because in our small farm sampler boxes, we only send out um, processed wool. And so we had a lot of farmers that were like, but I only sell the raw wool. What, what about me? So this is where we were kind of highlighting raw full fleeces versus like I said our sampler boxes which are getting so popular it's hard for me to even keep them in stock um that's all clean prepared fiber so yeah if you scroll on down keep on scrolling um we're also partnered with the, yeah, the fiber artist marketplace but yeah right here the have you fallen down the cottage industry rabbit hole yet well, if not, buckle up, Alice, and click on over to the description in the show notes and sign up. Then you can get ready for the most fun induction into the cult of all things yarn and fiber. This will include, but not limited to, free yarn, free ebooks, patterns, coupons, and much more. You don't want to miss out.